Hi everyone, welcome back to My Grape Escape. Uh, tonight I'm going to taste some white wine with you. Uh, I've rocked up in Leeds again um, instead of going to a football match in Barnsley tonight I've uh, decided to taste some white wine so let's hope it's worthwhile. Um, I'm staying in a hotel uh, called 42 The Coles. It's a delightful 18th century converted corn house. Um, Rumour has it Tony Blair once stayed here on a trip to Leeds so uh, that's great. I also have a little little friend here with me which is great um, for my, my travelling. We're having lots of fun tonight. So anyway, so we're going to do a, a white wine tonight. Um, I've picked out a this Cully Riesling from New Zealand. Uh, I got this up in Simply Wines in Ballyogan in Dublin. Um, I love Riesling. It's probably my favourite white wine vari grape variety. Um, it's just such an interesting grape. It's, it makes fantastic wines. Um, it has an incredible ability to age. You can get a lot of wines, um, you need to drink them young and fresh, like so many Sauvignon Blancs and Pinot Grigios and what have you. Uh, Riesling has a fantastic ability to age, maybe 10, 20, 30 years, 50 years plus for its sweet wines. Another thing, um, it ranges in styles from bone dry to kind of off dry, medium sweet to unctuously sweet. Um, kind of negative perception out there, you know, from wines back in the 80s and stuff from Germany is that it's all sweet and that wine bottle might actually remind you of that. But no, no, just check for it and most of it on the market now is actually bone dry and it's, and it's delicious. Um, what else is there? Yeah, so yeah, it kind of originated in Germany, you find a lot of it in Alsace in France, which is where I spent a year uh, on Erasmus, so I really got to know it then. Um, you're also getting it in Australia, in Clare and Eden Valley. Um, New Zealand in Marlborough and other regions and also Tasmania um, for years now uh, the kind of experts have been predicting that Riesling is the next big thing kind of after Chardonnay everyone got sick of that then Sauvignon Blanc came along and while it's still popular a lot of people are moving over to Pinot Grigio um, and Riesling's time Riesling is never quite shone but um, maybe who knows you know the emergence of Riesling's from you know trendy areas like Tasmania and Marlborough and New Zealand. Let's hope um, it you know it, it gets more recognition because it really deserve, deserves it. So anyway, I'm gonna try this tonight anyway. This Cully, um, 2005, 13 quid from Simply Wines, which is astonishing value in my book for uh, five years of age. Um, one of the great things about Riesling, um, as it ages, it kind of takes on petrol notes. So what that means. Um, you're probably wondering, why the hell would I want to drink petrol? Um, it's just this amazing ability, whatever, whatever's in the genetics, the grape and the way it's made, as reason gets older, um, it takes on like these aromas of kerosene, and it's it's really amazing. Um, it's actually what what we a lot of us find amazing is what Germany and Germans hate. So this kind of petrol smell is associated with the decline of Riesling, the downfall. Uh, not the only famous downfall in Germany. Uh, anyway, um, um, so to the extent where they have these official kind of tasting scales and reason they've actually taken petrol off that kind of, you know, they have peach and melon and uh, lemon and citrus and they want these have petrol and they actually took it off that scale just to remove completely that perception of petrol and reason. But I think it's fantastic. Anyway, so here's the wine here. Let's look at it first. Um, beautiful kind of lemon gold in colour. Really, really kind of attractive. Um, let's give it a sniff. Mm. Yeah, really floral, honey, kind of citrus on the nose. Yeah, really good. Let's give it a taste. Yeah, I'm getting it there. It's five years old and yeah, it's starting to develop 
those that petrol aroma kind of tastes really really good also getting peach a lot of peach on that and getting the lime as well mm, delicious um really kind of limey not fresh lime that you pour into your cooking or whatever or your drink uh, more kind of lime syrup you know you, they use it a mixer yeah really delicious, delicious stuff nice long finish as well I'm enjoying this yeah delicious highly recommended 13 quid simply wines really good um, so that's it really for tonight um, hope you enjoyed it it's a bit of uh, feedback from last week Thanks a million for all your tweets and comments and uh, likes and everything on Facebook and Twitter. Really great to hear it. Um, thanks a million to all the Irish wine bloggers, all your comments and encouragement. It's been brilliant. Um, on my Facebook page, some of my friends have uh, obviously found it funny to kind of pick out quotes and then write them up, and including one from Rory who says, uh, Tongue, tongue. Must have uh, stuttered over tongue. Thanks for your valuable comment, uh, Rory. Um, a few American uh, viewers requested that I might do a white wine next, so um, hope you're happy uh, with that. And finally, from my mother, um, she said I should smile more. So, hi, Mum. Yeah, so great, that's it. Um, I'm off to Burgundy at the weekend to check out the how the 2010 vintage is shaping up. So I can't wait for that. Gonna taste lots of wine, eat food, and maybe pick some grapes as well. So uh, I'm hoping to do some videos and blogs from there. So uh, it'd be great if you could have a look at them as well. All right, see you next time.